Hi YouTube, welcome to the Fun With Leslie channel. I today am going to talk about the movie The Conjuring 2. Which was a movie that I felt so strongly about doing a short review about because I just was shocked at how good the movie really was or is. So I'm going to do a short review on The Conjuring 2. I don't think I did one on one because that's really not something I do normally. But me and my son did go to see it a couple days ago. And I have to say, you know, I really, it, it was an excellent, scary movie. Um, it was, you know, the thing that I like about this is, you know, they put a little bit of everything in there. The relationship part of the Warrens with Ed and Lorraine, they have like this special relationship and in real life, they really did as well and had been together a long time. Um, they were both demonologists. And I know that the real Edward, he was born in, I believe, 26, 1926, died at 80 years old. Then they were both from Bridgeport, Connecticut. And what I was going to say is Ed, he, you know, being demonologist, he was before that in a, a World War II. So definitely a, a Navy vet and a police officer as well. But he just kind of got into the, you know, in, the interest of the haunting and different stories that were going on and events at that time. So he became a demonologist as well as Lorraine. Uh, Lorraine is actually the real Lorraine is, she was born in, let's see, Lorraine, I believe it was 27, yes. She was born in 1927, and she's also from Bridgeport, Connecticut. So I assume that's where they met. And um, she's currently 80, 89 years old. So, and she just, two years ago, did some type of a speech. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but I know that it was, it was a public thing a couple of years ago. Now, the movie itself, it really, really had you feeling tension and anxiety the entire time. There maybe was a few seconds here and there that you had a break, but it, it really, they really did an ex, an excellent job. And the as far as the uh, director, James Wong, he did unbelievable with this movie. It just really was. I, I really don't know much about James Wong, but the job that he did with this, The Conjuring 2, was absolutely impeccable. And, you know, the... The acting, of course, if there wasn't good acting, they couldn't give you that feeling of, of that tension, that anxiety that they were set out to do with this movie. And it's all this paranormal things that bring so many thoughts to people about and take people to so many places mentally that it kind of sticks with you, even from The Conjuring 1 stuck with me for quite a while. But um, I, the actress Vera, for, for, uh, I think it's called, pronounced Farmiga, or for, uh, Farmiga, I'm sorry. Vera Farmiga, she played Lorraine so wonderfully. She, she had this emotion and sense of I don't know how what you would call it, but her taking when she would just close her eyes and put herself in the paranormal situations and it kind of get she took herself into these situations that occur years prior where you really, really felt like it, it took you on a journey. It was so strange, but she did it so well that it was almost scary. I mean, it was really seemed like it seemed real 
And if somebody can really do something like that in, I, I don't know, it, it was crazy. But Patrick Wilson was awesome. It's, he did a great job as playing Ed, as he did in the first one. And that their marriage, you know, they had like this connection that is much different than most married couples that in real life and in the movies. But they played, they had that really good chemistry and a mental connection that was really, really helped with this movie. Even more so in Conjuring 2. But I must say that it wasn't where it was like jump scares and you're like, ah, and just scream, you know, like out of the blue. It was just the type of movie that kept you in like this, you know, the whole time. And I really have nothing but wonderful things to say about it. Normally, scary movies like this, they don't get good reviews, and I wouldn't give it a good review or even think of doing a video on it. But it, it was absolutely amazing, and if you did not see it, absolutely need to go see the movie. Well, the, uh, the Warrens just happened in this movie to take off, and they went and flew over to England to help a family. Where this paranormal activity was taking place, and it actually was uh, taking control of a young girl, a 12-year-old girl. So whoever, the, whoever it was, the entity or the, you know, whoever it was that was, you know, coming into these people's lives was actually entering through the 12 year old girl, which happened to be a 70 some year old man that used to live in the same house. And it just really was amazing. You, you will actually hear this 70 some year old man speaking through this young girl and with the it, the way they did it, it was just I couldn't again unbelievable but Lauren Ed and, and Lorraine they uh you know did their thing and of course during all during the whole process it just took you through a journey that was unbelievable it really was the uh young girl that I don't, I'm not sure of her real name, but um, the, for a 12 year old in doing a movie like this, she, the acting was impeccable. She really, really did a wonderful job as well. So if you're in the mood for something haunting, taunting, something where you just wanna feel that creepy feeling and just kinda sit back in the chair and be like, Oh my God, the whole entire time. It was right around two hours, I believe. Maybe a little bit longer. Um, definitely go see it. I don't want to say too much more. You know, like I said, they go and they help this family over in England, Ed and Lorraine, and they do their thing. And while they're doing their thing, boy, they get you caught up. And when you walk out, of, when it's over, you just can barely even get out of your chair for a few minutes. And then when you do leave, you're, I guarantee you're gonna be looking around, looking around you and um, feeling really strange. And even the next day, like I said, it sticks with you. Thought about it, you know, when I woke up the next day after seeing it and my son the same way. So thumbs up, if I had to rate it from a one to 10, I give it for a scary movie a nine and a half. And I don't give many movies a rating like that. So definitely go see it. Hope you enjoyed my review on The Conjuring 2. Bye guys. Thanks for watching my videos.